In this video, we show a set of interaction techniques with a back projected large display using a completely passive wand with two colored markers attached to the ends. The wand does not have any buttons or wheels. A pair of cameras track the wand in 3D. A 3D vector is reconstructed from the observations of the wand from both cameras. The spatial positions of the two markers are also being tracked. The red and blue circles show the marker's projection on the screen. The cross indicates the position that the wand is pointing to. The wand need not touch the screen for pointing. We use all this 3D information in the following interaction techniques, which we illustrate within a simple picture manipulation and navigation application. Using the blue end of the wand, a tapping gesture performs selection. The picture can then be moved around. The distance between the wand and the screen controls the scale factor. A second tap releases the picture. The red end of the wand acts as a query lens. When we drag the wand back from the screen, a spotlight is cast. All pictures inside the spotlight show their properties. Here, the distance between the wand and the screen controls the scale of the spotlight. A quick flip of the wand acts as an undo command. By keeping the wand parallel to the screen for a while, we trigger a pie menu. We rotate the wand to switch between different items. In this example, we have locked the position of the pie menu to obtain a better camera view. A tap gesture selects the current menu item. In this case, rotate is selected, allowing us to then rotate the picture by rotating the wand. Tilting the wand allows for a continuous adjustment of a parameter. In this example, we adjust the width of the picture border. Tilt can also be used to select an item in a submenu, here changing the color of the picture border. For more precise adjustment of a parameter, here the brightness of the picture, we trigger a dial panel. The dial panel can have different scales, again controlled by the distance between the wand and the screen. The further the wand is, the cost of the adjustment, the nearer the finer. To afford more complicated tasks, we can use a layered pie menu. We draw back the wand a bit to enter a new layer. This way we have a large number of commands available. The triggered command is displayed in the center of the screen. Our system supports the use of multiple wands, each having a different function. This wand is used for navigation. By keeping the wand parallel to the screen for a while, we trigger the navigation widget. The orientation of the wand controls the orientation of the navigation, while the tilt controls the velocity. To directly manipulate the canvas, a tapping gesture grasps the grid. The whole canvas is being moved and zoomed here, similar to what was done to a single picture. 